Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We're on episode number 13 of Let's Play Austrian Arrogance. So, where we left off last, I was trying to decide how we wanted to handle this Lithuania deal. Unfortunately, every battle we fight against Lithuania only counts towards the main war, and I can't get a separate piece, especially not when they have positive 16 war score against me due to their occupation. Um... It'd be nice, though, if we could get them to just get out of this war. They're contributing quite a bit of the overall strength um, on their side of the of the war. But, you know, perhaps we could let them just continue to siege Hungary and, you know, kind of whatever against Hungary. Their occupations in Lithuania are actually hurting us quite a bit, but I also need to get back to Stad. Because if we do let them take that, then that huge bonus to war score, the 8.8, .8, will go away. And that's not acceptable. So I think maybe what we do is we actually are going to, you know, I think we should probably beat them up. Woods Plains Marsh. Doesn't appear to be a river crossing. I think we just need to fight them. See if we gotta take them on. If we can beat up their army, and then um, hopefully our AI vassal, like allies, whatever they are, will kind of carpet siege this stuff back for me so I can contribute my main force to the, to the war front. I just want to get out of this war, honestly, because I want to, to mess around with more interesting things like... Uh, yeah, we actually have no military access to Poland. Poland! Hey, Poland, I have questions for you. Alright, four, 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 two, three. I guess we're going to need to pull one of these guys back. So I've been there for 14 days! <laughs> Come on home, buddy. Uh, lose stability, gain prestige? I think not. Otherwise we just lose money. Looks like we are going to have to go into debt here, which is unfortunate. So, yeah, I have no access to that. We do have another army, round of armies forming. We have cavalry on the way as well. Bunch of mercenaries. We're going to go into quite a bit of debt here. But you know what? Austria is going to grow via making everybody like us. Not via war. So we don't really need to worry about war like debt, because we'll have plenty of peace to pay it off, I think. But I need to get over to Stad. I know that that's very important. So do we really want to get military access? They won't even give it to us. Rivalry. Poland, you bastards. Not happy about that whatsoever. Very little defense here. Maybe what we do is we just... Uh, no, we're gonna... We're gonna we're going to form up, and we're going to go head over to Stad. That is the war goal. That's what we got to do. It's the only thing that makes sense to me. Mercenaries. 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 How much debt do we actually have? Total debt of 224. Could be worse. Supply limit here is 28. Currently we have... A unit weight of 12.01, so we can stick quite a few more troops on here. Probably not both stacks. Um, we'll take our secondary leader, put him in charge. And I'm just hoping that my, you know, this stack here, with uh, Hungary's army, Mecklenburg's army, plus this army, this one can fully reinforce another 8,000 men, so it's, it's going to take time to actually be up to full strength. We might want to consolidate regiments here, actually. Yeah, there's no way that we can actually reinforce it all the way. Let's just consolidate regiments. That saves us on all the reinforcement time. So can 22 plus 10 plus whatever my allies contribute be enough to beat 35? I sure hope so. Let's start working our way toward a high supply limit province that we can kind of meet up around 24, 26... 36. I don't want to go too close to them because they might come and snipe my army. Um, Brunswick's 22, 24. These aren't really as close as I'd like. I guess we're looking at that one. I mean, it's 27, so yeah, go there. And you head that way too. Interestingly, he's not actually sieging Lundberg. Like... It's Denmark, <laughs> it's the Danish conquest of Stad, but it's being sieged just by a tiny little stack and he's got 35 hanging out. 
I guess maybe he's hoping that I cross from this river into Stad. It'd be really nice if we could actually get there without having to cross the river. Of course, it is on the on the coast, really, plains and woods. So I hopefully hopefully we're not going to have any terrible terrible problems with the combat. And I've already forgotten who we were trying to improve relations with, so we'll just find somebody new. We need an emperor. We need an emperor. I don't know. I guess we just find the person that's got... Doesn't really matter. Just anybody. Everybody loves uh, Austria. We're amazing. Be friends with us. And if all these little derps could just get together, we might even have enough to just fully address that army, just go straight on at it. So what do you think, Brunswick? Do we, do we attack into Lundberg? Ooh, they've breached the walls. We need to go straight to Stad. So you guys can actually continue around. Okay, apparently we can't get into that territory here. You, sir, Munster, are you not part of the Empire? Why are you not letting me come through your lands? You are part of it, are you not? Interesting, I don't really understand why I don't have military access there. Okay, well, um, I guess... Is it occupied by somebody? Like, I can go here, I can go here, but I can't go into East Frisia. I don't get it. Alright, just go to old, go to there. Oh, it's okay, so he is moving. That's good, though. If he splits his army up into two stacks that I can actually fight, I'm going to be very happy. Yes, leave the 11 behind. Come at us here. Oh, yes. Are you going to get him? Oh, that's not good. He's going to take... Oh, he's not even fighting that army. Yeah, let's go at it. I mean, let's do it. 23? I don't know why we have friendly armies here that are not fighting each other. Like, what's going on with these armies? But, um, 9... Yeah, this seems, this seems fine. Yeah, 4.4 .4 morale. We've got Joseph Heinrich now being reinforced. Should hopefully... Why didn't he get replaced by the better commander? That's unfortunate. But we have a huge army, big open field. Get a chance to blow them up for a few days and just crush their morale. Hundreds, hundreds, hundreds. Now it's about equal. He's got a 2-1. Oh, why in the who, who, who is August the 1st? Why, why is a 0-1 commanding? We've got Benno Bethman here is 1-2. He should have taken over. Taking unnecessary losses because of this. And we're the ones with the river crossing penalty. That's really annoying. It's just, it's so much closer than it should be. This is ridiculous. Wow. Thank goodness we won. I mean, that was, that was terrifying for me. I can't believe how close that was. Jeez, if it's going to be that way, maybe I should just combine the armies under Benno. Just keep him in command. Good news! Lorraine's opinion goes up. Great. We're just gonna hang out here and we're gonna fight whoever wins. <laughs> End your siege. Actually, rebels... <laughs> the Bremenian... The Bremian revolutionaries have just stopped Denmark from actually sieging Stad, despite having successfully breached the walls. Maybe it's because of their their ships at port that was preventing me from going into East Frisia or something? Alright, so we're winning though, because of that. That was a great battle. Still much closer than I would have liked, but now we get to fight the peasants. Led by Adam Rivers with three shock score, of course. Who the hell is August the First? I really want to know. Some little dumb army from Magdeburg is like, I am amazing. No, you're not. Unfortunately, this is allowing Lithuania to come back in and start sieging more of Hungary, which is helping out with their war score. I can't really afford to split my army, though. So maybe what we do here is we uh, free up a diplomat again. Take somebody who's 
Probably the one who's done the most work. 29 seems fine. Get him home, and then maybe I just, I don't know. White Peace probably doesn't give us the plus 20 Imperial Authority, does it? We probably do need to win. They're not even willing to consider white peace, let alone surrender. Even though they're up to five war exhaustion. Relative strength of the alliance is, is very significant. Like, they've got all these ships. They've got more of everything, really. So, we're just going to have to let this war continue to tick on. We've got we've to keep on getting more and more points for controlling Stad. We can never let them take that. Is there a good province that we can go hang out in here? Or do we just... You know, it's probably better is actually to go and fight Lithuania again. Surprisingly, despite all the mercenaries, are actually making money. Seems great. Bohemia, letting Lithuania walk through your lands? How dare you. We have a new pope. That reminds me of papal stuff. I should probably do this from time to time. So, Hungary is uh, apparently trying to take our guy, which is kind of strange, considering they're in a personal union underneath us. We don't have enough points to, to take this guy over. So, um, I think we just pump another point into that guy and then dump as much as we can. We're 20 points behind, so... Not very likely, but... Very minor attrition, nothing major. Probably not a good idea to wander through his 18 army. Almost definitely would suffer some supply penalties there. Poland still probably being a jerk, won't let us through. We should just declare war on Poland. That's how you want to play. I mean, Denmark is like, okay, we'll see you later. <laughs> their, their army is just gone. Do they even have a military, I wonder, at this point? Did we kill the majority of their army or something? They have 14,000, but no manpower. Yeah, we'll, pro we'll protect Hungary here. We don't want them to get weak. If, if I can give them a little bit of time, they might even be able to reinforce and build up an army again. And then other than that, do either of you have siege score? Joseph does. So Joseph, why don't you go take care of Pest? You guys can go up there. And we'll just give it a little bit of time. Um, he is trying to siege Stad again. And Mecklenburg. So how about we leave... Um, yeah, let's take one of the armies north. We'll take one north. We'll leave the siege commander type guy here to maybe take back the capital of Hungary, which is probably worth the most. I have to imagine. Actually, no. Szeps is worth the most. I wonder why, just maybe base tax? 8 versus 5. 2 fort level. 2 fort level. Well, I guess all things... Wrong one. I guess all things being equal, um, if Pest is only 2.3 and Zeps is 3.5, I guess we go there. Honestly, seems better. Soon, once we get a little tiny bit more military tech, we can actually pick up some cannons, which would help out quite a bit. We're losing money now. Just head back up there. We're going to be fine. Don't worry about it. 9% war score. Of course we can't do anything with 9%. What, what else can we do to try to help things along here? 35 Princes for the Reforms. Saxe Lohnberg. S. Why is this not alphabetical? Could have sworn that it was. Or is it the uh, is it by L? C L L L. Must be. For some reason it's organizing it by the L. Alright, fine. Um, they're at war with us. Oh, well that would explain why they're not... You're at war with me? Why are you at war with me? A 
vassal or lesser, par lesser partner? You are a vassal of Denmark? But you're part of the Holy Roman Empire. Why the hell are you underneath Denmark? When did this happen? We need to get them back. Clearly that can't stand. And um, apparently Lithuania is coming at us now with uh, quite an army. And is this the total force? 9,000 versus 11? Alright, fine. Looks like we're coming back to defend. You better get over there, Benno. Run, man, run. Here comes the big battle. No, please give us good command. Good, good terrain. No, it's plains, naturally. We've got woods and hills and forests, but we get the plains. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, everyone. We'll see you again soon.